Um, <laughs> it's a strength based weapon! Strength and dex based. What is the spear? Can you wield it? Oh, it says attributes require nothing. Yeah. But it scales with strength, strength. B, so... Yeah. He's long, long boy. Oh god. There's so much happening right now. Rip bit rate. My mimic is just standing under him and stabbing him. Is your mimic harmed by lava? Get in there. What I think makes me laugh the most about this fight is in the second phase when the skulls are following you. Uh huh. It just looks weird, right? Like it just like the an there's something about the animation of the skulls that just looks wrong. Yeah.
the spear was longer. Looks a little derpy. I think its special ability makes it long. Good morning, snake. Of it the whole time, or when we killed the snake, did, it, did he wake up? It was like, oh, this is my body now. So I think the thing with Ricard is, I don't know that he's like in control. I literally think he's being digested by this snake, but he like thinks he's like in control. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to say for sure. himself get eaten by that snake. Right, really? Oh god. Together. It like despawned my mimic for the second phase. I don't know if I should save him for that phase. Oh yeah, that's a good point. pretty packed. That's good. Ow. Oh, maybe it didn't despawn him. His body fell on my my guy. Also, can you read what Harmony said? Yeah, he's still here. He was curled up next to me when I was napping, and since I've been up, he's been looking at me like I betrayed him. <laughs> How dare you walk away from me? That's what happened earlier. Gizmo was laying with me and then I got up because uh, I had to pee and she like followed me around looking at me like, how dare you? We were so cuddly. She's drawn, no, 
Oh, she's still working on the prop from earlier. Sorry, I'm still drawing uh, the us in our Renaissance Fair costumes. And I'm just trying to finish out some of the... The coloring, and then I'm gonna see if there's some like easy details that I can put here, maybe with like the stamps and the... Program. Show. So I got the flat colors down. Hold on. Try and lasso you. A serpent never dies. That was my Ricard impersonation. Trying to figure out how to move. All right, I'm gonna leave you with Ronnie's drawing for a sec while I pee. I'm trying to figure out how. Oh wait, hold on. I think I, I have to be on a different layer, maybe. <laughs> Just want to move Ian up. I just want to make us even. I just want to make us equal. I can't. Delete. No, I don't want to delete. I don't want to fill. I just want to move it. I guess I'll just... I guess you can just stay there. Thank you! Chicken thighs and mac and cheese? Ooh, that sounds delicious. Yeah. This is, uh, these are the poses we did when we sat on the thrones. I That's what I was going for. I was going for, like, a queen that's, like, sitting there and being like, Why have you come to bother me today, peasant? Tell me. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to, maybe if I just, like, if I do this. No, it still won't let me move him, so... Well, that's okay. I'm just sitting a little above Ian, because I'm obviously of more importance, so... I mean, you do pay for my food. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Do they have anything for clothing that I could just, like... They have some lace. They didn't really add anything. Alright, first, this. get this dumb spear out of my awesome bloody hands. Is his soul? You drew me as a Hades character for my birthday. Yes, I, I recall. The other option is to be like Queen of Cats thing. You're on a throne laughing with kittens. Oh, that sounds so what? cute. What is? I, I love that. I want to be the Queen of the Cats. Where is Morgoth's sword? Is this it? No. It's right there. Oh, there we go. Okay, Doki. Do this layer. And then fill. Only this layer. Our background. I'm the just queen. Gonna... I said the queen of this house, no Mario Holiness. <laughs> Like a steely blue background. A steely Dan. There we go. Alright, so now... Is something else I'm supposed to do down here? Do I go back up and then she's gone and come back down and she's chewing on him? Uh, I think you have to go back up first. Yeah, I was just wondering where his body is. Turn, go to the side of Grace. And then look to the left, I think, of where you are. 
Maybe, maybe he's not... It, like, doesn't come back until I don't I go see up it. There. Yeah, you, maybe you gotta go talk to her first. You know, I... Okay. You. You. True, then. You've defeated our lord. And now I am king. King of the snakes. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. Our lord is immortal. And will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then. I must stay the path. And do my part. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. I always was an admirer. This is farewell. Perhaps we so long. Meet again. Farewell. I'll be the sin. I do. I do. I do. To you and you and you. Can you imagine like what you would have to do to get a name like Lord of Blasphemy in real life? Yeah. Oh, you. Allow nibble, nibble, nibble. Time. Our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. Yeah. One it's, day, I'm gonna save this let first. Us devour the gods together. I'm gonna go. call this king and queen. Dear Rikard, I wish one day. Oh, you have fun with that. You're not gonna kill her? Nah, I don't really care that much. All right. I mean, unless it changes the ending, but I don't know if it does. All right, so it's pretty simple, but I feel like I spent a lot of time on this drawing already. So I just Look gave us that. I just gave us some sparkles in the background because you know our our kingly and queenly auras would give you that. Also, Ian's renaissance outfit, I felt like ha was actually a lot more vibrant red, but I wanted it to match mine Yours. a little bit more, yeah. so I made it, like... And also, our stuff had, like, a lot of detailing on our outfits, and I just didn't want to go through and, like, draw all that out right now, because I don't really have, like, a stamp where I could do that, but that that's basically our renaissance outfits. I was wearing a corset that made... My boobs look ridiculous when I sat down, and Ian was wearing like a swag, a full drip outfit uh, for the Renaissance Festival. So, there you go. You oh, yeah. It. I'm just making sure of what I have to do to get Ronnie's ending. The Tsunade effect. Um, get the doll. Once Estella's dead, put ring on you. I hate that I'm hearing her like slowly. Yes, <laughs> the cat. Okay, so like essentially, what happens for the endings is when you complete a quest that will allow you to get an ending. You know the room where NL picked that one yeah. thing. There will be more than one if you have the option. Yeah, basically, and I'll just pick the flame of frenzy one. The one he, he saw first. To, he picked the first one he saw. So. Okay, so we've defeated. Which is arguably the worst ending. ending yeah. But... We've defeated Ricard. We've right. defe defeated. Um. The fire giant. No, well, I'm I'm thinking of deities. Oh. Ricard. Radon. Radon. Um. Morgot. Uh, well, if I go back to what's it called, here tell me which one's left. I know, uh, what the heck is demon lady is left. She's gonna be a nightmare. Um, I have not found Moog yet. 
There are four more to Mikola of the Halig Tree. His Mikola? Melania. Melania. This Rani, daughter to Renan. And the one Rani is said to have cast saw here at the hold. We seek the whereabouts. If you should learn any, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure. I, I, I hear. As such. Also, his fight with just lots of, uh... Uh... Healing. I just really want to get to not have a heavy load so I don't have to have this talisman on. But I don't know like how much endurance I actually need to achieve that. But that's my my goal right now. But I do hear his his palace is a really good place to level up. Or to, to grind out levels if you need to. Alright, we're gonna get this one more level because we're close to it. What level are you currently, CMB? Have you beat the game? I can't remember if you've beaten the game or not. You've got to, right? Because you're not playing it on stream, so you can just do whatever you want and make as much time as possible. You haven't beaten the game, you just need to beat Melania now and clean up a few areas. You want to be really thorough. You're level 135, okay. It's so like 20, 20 levels higher than me. Can you- oh, I, I thought you were in the kitchen, Never mind. What do you need? I was gonna say, can you grab a yingling? A ying a ling a ling. Cause I'm yeah, I'm level 113 now. So I'm we're getting there. I honestly might just like fight Melania a bunch of times though, and then be like, hey Anderson. <laughs> You hit the soft cap on all the important ones. Um, I was gonna- I don't know if you heard me, I was yelling from across the apartment. But to get one of the endings, you have to do Thea's quest. The deathbed companion? Yeah. Yeah. I so. mean- oh yeah, cause she, wait, is she a, a deity? No, but she is Godfrey's deathbed companion. So... You're doing the Frenzy Flame? Why? CMB's like, I'm going full chaos. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mostly by accident, yeah, because if you get in touch with the Frenzy Flame, you have to do that ending if you, like, meet the Frenzy Flame and get the flame. Yeah. Unless there's only one way that you don't have to take it, and that's if you go to Fire Missoula after you beat the Great Dragon... Whatever the well, that, fuck yeah. its name was, the like two-headed one, and you have to lay down there and use. You have to have an unalloyed gold needle to use on yourself to separate yourself from the power of the three fingers to avoid it. Yeah, in the crumbling area, if you beat the the big dragon there, there's like an area. If you have the unalloyed golden needle, see, I do all this intel because I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally get the frenzy frame ending because I don't want it, <laughs> and you use it. Oh, yeah, exactly. The, I, I also have to do it. I haven't gone through myself. Um, but if you do that, then you don't have to take the Frenzied Flame ending. You can separate yourself from the power. Of okay. That. So. But. Uh, just in case you didn't want to have to do that ending. Just commit it now. Yeah, exactly. Um. Because the Two Fingers is essentially who we start working out for. And the Two yes. Fingers is the Erd Tree. More or less. 
Yes. It's the being possessing the Earth Tree almost like a, not a parasite, because the Earth Tree is still growing, or was mm-hmm. still growing. But, like, there was a tree there in the times before this world. Yeah. And then our Eldritch Horror showed up. Yeah. And was like, this is my tree now. And the Three Fingers is another cosmic entity. Yep. And then Moog works for another cosmic entity. So there's at least three. Okay. So. I guess... For now, I'm just gonna start getting some progress here. Mainly, I just want to get the side of grace after after <laughs> the, the trees. trees. Yeah. yeah. Mostly, I just wanted to make sure that I could get Ronnie's ending for the first playthrough, because I just really wanted to do her ending. Yeah. Which I think it's, like, a lot of people's favorite endings. Or, a lot of people's favorite ending uh, is that one over, like, the other ones. Because, obviously, Ronnie is just a cool character, I think. Yeah, it was just really well designed. Um. Yeah. Guys, yeah, like, what the heck? I was just here dooting with my boys. These guys, I really hope the DLC gives us more lore for them. The little oracle guys? Yeah. Um. Oh. Killed my friends. Um. And I still stand by, like, I don't like that from the software games. Like, you know, you oh, you figure out the lore with what they give you. Yeah, the hailing tree. It's pretty it's a pretty beloved area, I feel like, right? Like everybody likes doing this area. <laughs> um, but you figure out the lore with what they give you. Yeah. And then you they release the DLC and you immediately have to like reconstitute what you know about the world, which annoys me just for, like, finish, like, like, it feels unfinished at that point. Like, they were like, we have 80% of a story, and we're gonna figure out the rest, and then we'll tell you later. I don't think, I mean, I, I, I think I would disagree with you, because I feel like it tells a complete story. This already tells a complete story on its own. And it's not like Final Fantasy XV, where at the end I, I'm like, what the heck is going on here? You know, like, I yeah. know what's happening in the world. Um, well, that's what I'm saying, is like, I feel like they have a completed game, and then they add more DLC, which changes, like, you get a little more depth of knowledge and everything, right? So why not wait until you had both of those and then just release it? Interesting. Ow. You see what I'm saying? Not really, but... Oh. He killed you. I didn't realize I had that with low HP. He sniped you with the bubble. Death by bubble. Like, if you're gonna release a game where the point of the game is to figure out the story, to connect all the dots, and then you you know you're gonna do DLC, why not just make the game? <laughs> I feel like it's hard to argue that for this game specifically because it does have multiple endings already, and... There is, like, the- I- I mean, I don't know, because we don't know what the DLC is going to be yet, but I think they do a good setup of, like, you know that there's more out there. Like, you know that there are more demigods and stuff that haven't been explored. The two big ones, obviously, being Mikola and the Glomide Queen. And so, like, you already know there's going to potentially be covering those in the DLC. DLC, yeah. Uh, for like a downloadable content for this game. Dark Souls 1 you know about are Torius fighting the Abyss and staying behind to hold it back, but in the DLC you get a chance to see what the descent looked like firsthand. So it was more about filling out the details. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and expanding the story. So. Oh. oh no, the ants are here! Alright, listen guys, I don't want any trouble, okay? Oh 
god. Oh Goodbye. no! I thought I had just a little more room. They're tooting and they're proud about it. <laughs> yeah, filling out details will be fine. The ending of that's and that's like to me, the ending of these games doesn't matter. Because like there's multiple endings, so it's really just a choice in the moment. Like, there's no canon story, right? You're connecting the dots. Bye. There he goes. Um... But if you're, uh... Going to... Like... I don't know. It just annoys me. Like, just make a complete game. <laughs> Ch uh, challenge 2022. Yeah, Ian was Ian was telling me about that. That stray is coming out. What? You can get their horns? Yeah. Uh, and I I was like, I'm looking forward to that game, but I feel like it's gonna be sad. Like, I feel like I'm gonna cry at parts. Harmony says something like, "I will write a strongly worded letter to all developers if the cat." If, needs if anybody game. hurts this cat, I swear to God, any of the cats. I'm gonna lose it. The point of DLC is just yeah, to get extra money. That's literally what I'm saying. There is a whole subcourt category of bubble oh, magic. Bubble yeah. Magic. There is bubble magic. You mean Michael Bublé has a stat in this game? That's right. Yo, he was getting ready to <laughs> swing at you. Alright. So you're trying to get over there? Oh, yeah, there's, like, buildings and stuff there. Demolish the fire giant with bubbles. Oh, Where is he, like, weak to that? End up? I think they're right there. I can see a glowing yellow. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. did you see him? I okay. see. I do, I have some of the bubble magic. But I didn't, I don't usually like using it. I mean, theirs is the exception because their bubbles just come flying at you, but most of the bubble magic is kind of slow. But I guess for the fire giant, it might be okay because he's so large that if you just like throw the bubbles out anywhere, maybe he just like, ah! it's like guaranteed to hit him. I'm being duded. I'm being duded to death. You guys are having fun, I guess. You guys are just chilling. The, the, the biggest dude. Did you summon the ants? Is that what you did? It looks like it. Oh god. Oh god. Ouch. That I did not like that animation. That made me uncomfortable. Can you guys chill out a little bit? Ugh. Don't fall. Help. Don't fall. Please. Not only is the tree suck for me, it's fucking up your pathfinding. No! There you go. A formic rock. Where the heck am I going? I think you're going to the right, yeah. You'll have to smattering of items up here to lead you around, maybe. First off, strong foe, then seek item. Where's the strong foe? Uh oh. Okay, there's a bunch of those. Oh god! Jesus! What the heck? Ah! Oh my god! I mean, you just gotta run past it, I would assume. I don't know what else you can do, because you don't really have any distance attacks. Like, if it was me, I'd be laser beaming him with my frenzy beam that I have. Yeah. But I don't know if you have anything that can reach him.
Oh my god, look at the multi dude horn thing. <laughs> He's too far. Hi, no, Jeff. Jeff! Welcome. Welcome in. That looked like it went over him. Just, just a little. He's so annoying. Look at him over there, so round and chonky. Just shooting his <laughs> bubbles at you. Well. This is really hard. I mean, you could try and just lock on to him, too, but... I mean, then you're gonna have to probably step out from behind the tree. There you go. Uh-oh. I can't even see his HP bar. Oh, there's, yeah, there's the little rot flowers down there. Well, I mean, uh -huh. the rot flowers are weak against fire, right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the bubbles. Never in my life did I think I would fear bubbles. There's a branch you can drop down onto the right that will wrap around on the side. You still have to dodge a few attacks, but it'll have some cover for the approach. Okay, that's good to know. No more arrows. Just get rid of this thing to start with. He's the dude in this boy. I like to imagine like the other dude people, like in the lower level areas, are like, I hear there's a man who plays three dudes at once. <laughs> I heard he plays six. Like they just yeah. The man, the myth, the legend. Are you looking for a Morgoth? Yeah. Where is my... Keep going. Gasoline blade. Alright, so... There's a branch you can drop down on the right. That will wrap around. I see it. Yeah, it's right there, but there's cover. Or maybe that's not it. That seems too far away. Well, unless you get... Like over onto the where that little branch is. Is this what we're talking about, CMB? That's so. <laughs> Fun times. Oh, look, they put a little message too where you jump, drop down. Always look for the messages. That's what I do. Oh, God! Because, I mean, most of the time, minus the trolls who are, like, hidden wall or, or secret path or whatever, you know, with the in front of every single wall, most of the tips are fairly helpful, you know? Yeah. Even, yeah. like, I don't even have to read them I half the time. Know I just I should know what I do here. Cause like I can't look at him to even get over there, right? Like I can't look at him to start to to know when to even try to dodge. Just past the beetle, he won't be able to hit you anymore. Okay, good to know. You're going the wrong way. Yeah. I'm, I'm just clearing oh, out okay. the people behind me who were attacking me, okay? Yeah, you can survive that first wave of bubbles, and then I think you just book it. I think you just run. Like yeah. you drop down and run through, and you take that first hit of bubbles, and don't don't heal from them. Just keep running, you know. Hello. Mainly for me, it's the the ants that are a problem. Yeah, F 
that guy up. Say you do it your I'm last day. Is try and save my flask physics over there because then I can take I can absorb one hit with no damage. Yeah, that's true. Those ants hit harder than ninety percent of basic enemies. Yeah, they really made the ants like pretty more real nightmare material. Yeah, yeah, real, real tough. You might be able to just drop down next time. The bubbles, they just keep coming. He's gonna summon the ants. Oh, never mind, he didn't do it this time. Oh, they came anyway. Or one of them's watching you, at least. Come over here. You want him to come out there? I want him to separate from his friends. Oh, I see. The camera auto locked on. I was trying to rotate it, and I was like, "Why can't I turn the camera? I'm scared." Ask us anything. A food combination. A lot of people like that. You are not fond of. Gravies and mashed potatoes. That's true. I mean, that Ian doesn't like mashed potatoes or gravy, so I, I guess that's that's a good answer for him. I'm trying to think. A lot of people like, so it's like a more common. You know what's another um, one? Scalloped potatoes. I hate scalloped potatoes. I don't think a lot of people eat scalloped potatoes, though. I think that's like a special occasion thing. Like, people might make My that for... My dad used to just make them. Oh. Maybe that's why you don't like them, because you... <laughs> I'm trying to think. I don't think... See, the thing is, is I'm like the, the farthest thing from a picky eater that there could be. So, but you said not fond of, which means, like, it doesn't mean that I, like, dislike it a lot, but just something that I'm, like, not really fond of. Um. Hmm. I'm literally in my mind right now. I'm trying to be like, okay, what's, like, the last thing that I would want to eat? Like, something I wouldn't want to eat. And I can't think of something. No, there's a freaking flower, dude. Gravy and mashed potatoes is a good answer, because I don't like gravy, but I love mashed potatoes. You are not a fan of poutines. Yeah, I like poutine. I, yeah, I mean, there's some poutines. But that's, that's again, that has, like, gravy. It's gravy and cheese curds, basically, so if you don't like that stuff, like, you wouldn't like it. You suck! Hmm. Oh, oh please tell me there's a... Uh... Like, I have enough to level up. <laughs> I'm guessing C and B you are a fan of poutine. I like poutine. I've never had it, but the name makes you want to try it. Yeah, it's a Canadian... Yeah, I mean, um, we... Yeah. I was like, we were so close to Canada. Yeah, it's a Canadian food. Um, There's, like, a, a lot of poutine places in Canada. Uh-oh. Oh, he's rolling! He's... Oh, Lord, he's rolling! Living 10 minutes from Canada, I'm an outcast. Why? You're an outcast because you don't like poutine? <laughs> hmm. Like, I'm trying to think of food combinations. Strawberry and chocolate. I love it. You know? I like ketchup and, and mustard, and I like... I mean, ketchup oh. and chicken is fine, but it's not the best, you know, I'd much rather have barbecue sauce. That, that's a good one, though, Harmony, because yeah. I also, like, like, with the chicken chicken tenders, I, like, wouldn't put ketchup on them, you know? Like, it's like, a solid thing, combination, like... but it's, like, the normie one. Yeah, no, I, you're right. I usually wouldn't eat ketchup and Who chicken together. What the heck together. is doing me? I'm not saying that I, if somebody was like, you can eat, like, these chicken nuggets, but you have to eat that, like, you have to dip them in ketchup, I'd be like, ew, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'd probably still eat them. But it just is, it wouldn't be my first dipping, uh, sauce choice. Yeah. To, to do that. Um. 
This guy's following me. That's a good one, though. Yeah. Hey, maybe want some tendies. <laughs> you always want tendies. You know, I think it, speaking of weird food combinations, I think we might have talked about this on stream before. They apparently there's like a mac and cheese flavored ice cream right now, right? Okay. I don't know if I would like that. So <laughs> where were you saying you thought I could just jump off? Um, like if you come up to this area, and then if you just jump down here. Like, I don't know if you would live, but you could- it would- instead of having to go around, you could just jump down and run straight down. Oh god. Well, let's try it. Okay, yeah! Ah! You didn't take any damage, but you also don't kill the Duke people up there. Ketchup and chicken does not make sense, yeah. I mean, that's what I used to eat stuff with as a kid. Yeah, exactly. There's so many superior sauces. Like, why, why would you go for ketchup? This might, it, like, sweet and sour is good. I also, if it was me, I just wouldn't even fight the ants. I would just run away. Yeah, I mean, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, I always get this orange in that first spot. So you're going to the left. Sweet and sour. Oh, honey mustard is like my go-to for sure. With chicken, especially chicken nuggets. Also, Ian, have you tried running? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I do. I just definitely run through. Especially if I've, kill if I've killed enemies at least once or twice before. I'll be like, you know what? I know what it looks like when you guys die. I don't need to see it again. This is fine. But when I fall off here, I need to run this way. This way, yeah. yeah. Why are you guys here? And then I think if you just ran through, you'd be out of the way of the Duke people, too. Yeah, he has the... Uh, I think it's Okina's katana? That has, like, the... the no! No! Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> they had pushed him off the edge! Exactly how my playthrough went. I know. I'm sure when I get to the Hailing Tree too, it will be just like this for me. Like I'm gonna be falling off a million times. Cause I I'm definitely going to I be I don't remember where the fucking drop way. off is. Do you wanna try the drop off like I did or you wanna go your way? No, the one I just tried your way. Oh okay. I'm doing it again. I got knocked off. <laughs> I just zoomed through this first part. Yeah, what I was about to say is I can see all these items on these tree branches and me being the loot goblin that I am, I know that I'm gonna try and like find the ways to all these branches. So I'm gonna spend like so much time here just dying and falling off repeatedly because people are gonna keep I'm just attacking. trying to catch it at the point where the ants are not where I'm gonna jump off. Yeah. I know I have no impulse control. I see something shiny and I gotta run towards it, so. And then you see the Duke Lord there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how far are the ants gonna follow me is the problem. Well, I think once you drop down, though. Yeah, to your right. You drop down. Oh. Look. Oh, look, there's a building down there. Ian's like, it's not funny. <laughs> I've died so many fucking times. Oh, no, this is... I mean, compared to the fucking fire giant, this is way less annoying. Because this is designed to be meme-y. I the wrong way again, I think. Yeah, there we go. Um... Like, they, they... The fire giant, I think, and Radon in particular are two poorly designed fights. Mm-hmm. Everything else in this game, like, they knew what they were doing to make it look like this. You fucking die. 
There he goes. Doot. Doot. Talk about the last time you laughed uncontrollably. Uh, That's a good question. That is a good question. And it's hard. I feel like it's hard to be like, what constitutes uncontrollably, right? I don't know. Honestly, the first thing that came to mind is it's probably like some stupid... What was that joke? I made a joke about something that I said... And I just started laughing, and you were like, are you okay? And I was like, I don't know, I just thought it was really funny, and I just, like, kept laughing at myself. I, I don't remember. I don't remember either. Okay, hold on, let me think. Playing tabletop simulator, my buddy did something stupid, and I almost started crying. <laughs> sure, there are a lot of D&D &D moments that I, I found highly hilarious, you know, that you just laugh at. Um... It's that laugh that just keeps going like you're trying to stop and then you're done and you just start again. Yeah, I think- I mean, it honestly might be of that time. I have to I wish to I could there. remember what I, I said. I can't. You might have said something and then I like... I literally don't know. Like I said, it's really hard for me like, the first thing that comes to mind for me is, I think, three years ago when we... It was probably longer than that. We were playing um, the Thing board game at Brett's in Rochester. Well, Shyly. And uh, we... I thought of mine. We... You know, it's like a deductive game. So everyone was, like, arguing and screaming at each other. And... We, when it turned out that someone was the thing at the end, Brett like stood over and kicked up a kicked over a chair. I was like, I fucking knew it! I told all of you, goddamn it! And it was like three a.m. and his neighbor like knocked on the screen door and was like, "Is everything okay?" In Are here? you guys okay? Yeah. But like we were trashed. Yeah, yeah. Um. So this is gonna sound weird, but just bear with me. She's talking about the time <laughs> she murdered someone. No. So, I mean, I don't know if everybody else has this experience, but, like, when you oh, are hanging out God. with your friends and you're all getting, like, really drunk, right? You Sometimes you just end up talking about, like, really ridiculous topics, right? And the one time my friend group started... What the heck is his name? Um, he's, like, the celebrity guy that had that whole scandal where he was, like... Uh, accused of cam cannibalism. Oh, um, um... What's his name? He, like, there was, like, consensual cannibalism because, like, the one woman... I, I don't... What the heck was his name? Army Hammer. Thank you, yes. We started talking about Army Hammer and we got into this, like, fake, like, philosophical discussion about if you could have consensual cannibalism. And it just, like, devolved into all of us, like, making fake arguments and laughing. But now, anyway, that was going to bring me to... It's kind of like an inside joke among our friend group where we say to each other, whenever we get into, like, a weird topic of conversation, somebody will just be like, so, like, is cannibalism okay if it's consensual? And we all just, like, start laughing because we're just referencing that one time we had that ridiculous conversation because of Army Hammer. So, like, that's the... I don't know, that seems kind of weird as I'm saying it out loud, but it's just like, uh, I don't know. It, it was fun. It's funny. Trust me, it's funny. <laughs> but yeah, Army Hammer is definitely, like, um, a strange person. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, you made it past the Doot Lord. Good yeah, job. but now I gotta figure out where to go to what find. What about behind you? Just went there. I found some ashes of war. But like on this rooftop there. Oh, sorry, I hit the. Like, I don't think I can go that way. You can't make it there. Yeah, you can jump down there. Like. Yeah, his, his career. That's not gonna kill me. I don't think so. I mean, you can throw a rainbow stone down there. I don't think it'll kill you. If I have to run past this dude lord again. I'm jumping off the balcony. Well then, yeah, throw a rainbow stone down there. You're good. Like, honestly, all I want at this point in my life is nugs. Harmony has begun the, the craving. 
But yeah, obviously his career ended uh, very quickly after that. Thank you for the lurk, CMB. Yeah, have fun in Final Fantasy XIV. Looks like there's a ladder in there. I thought I saw one, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. You treated yourself today and you got dominoes. Nice. You know what? Another thing, so I don't like dominoes, but I just have had a craving for Pizza Hut. But where's Ian, where's your favorite place to get nugs? Um, it's a really hard answer. <laughs> Jesus You're Christ. putting. Look at his face. You put him into an existential crisis um, thinking about there's this. There's a diner in Middleport, whose name I can't remember currently. It's literally like Joanne's or something. This name of the place. Okay. So if you walk down my parents' driveway and turn right on the canal, in Lockport, in Buffalo, you can walk about an hour on foot or like you know twenty minutes on bike to Middleport and get these like hand breaded chicken tenders. Okay. I was just gonna say McDonald's. No. So. <laughs> I mean, McDonald's is fine, but not the best. <sighs> That's crazy. You did it. Look at that. Um. And you know what's weird? I love this is a childhood, like, deep seated memory. There, the Friendlies. Is that a nationwide chain? I think Friendly's is nationwide, but I feel like they closed a lot They're of their dying. locations, yeah. so I don't know where, how, like, ubiquitous, widespread they are nowadays. Yeah, they are no longer isotropic. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> that doesn't really make sense, but it felt good. Um, but their barbecue sauce, Just pepperoni. Let's go to pizza. You you can't go wrong with a straight. Oh, the Parmesan twists are so oh, good. Oh, baby, yeah. I don't see their other stuff at Domino's is good. The Parmesan the, twists are the so good. The pizza is not my favorite. Those are so good. Definitely, definitely a good treat yourself meal. Did you see that lever there? Oh, you're right. I don't know if you can use it. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta find it at the bottom first. Friendly's has the coolest chicken. It did. It had like the the standing yeah, up one, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, they they put all their currency into that. You're right. And yeah, the lava cakes. Oh, baby. Ronnie, we have to go though. Friendly's was like my favorite place to get Sundays. Oh yeah. And I was like so sad when they they closed in Lockport, where where we're from. Um, but it was definitely Wait. like friend. I? I think you're going back the way you. Ah! Came. Get me out of here. But Friendly's also was the type of place where like. Every time I went there and they handed me the menu, I was like, why is this menu so sticky? Yeah. <laughs> Every time. I don't know if you... I, I'm not going to say her last name on stream, but her name's Allie. She was a year younger... Two years younger than me. Uh, oh, hello. hello. Um, but she and I, after one of the concerts they had back in Buffalo... You remember they had the, the summer series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... We uh we went in there at like 11 p.m. for snacks, mm -hmm. and you know it was full of old people eating like late dinners and stuff. Oh! Oh, what? oh God! Where did he come from? <laughs> Jesus Goodbye. Christ! Um, where did you come from? Seriously. Um, but uh, I'm not joking. This friendlies was packed, but, but. Nobody was talking. They were all eating in dead silence, and Allie and I were like laughing and stuff, and we slowly became like aware that this place was dead silent, and it was like a weird liminal horror story. I was like, that's like a horror story where you're sitting and you're like laughing and eating with a friend, and then all of a sudden you're like, we realized then that the only sound was our laughter, and there was nothing else in the diner except for an eerie silence. <laughs> I'm trying to see where he came I from. I think he came from that direction. I hear steps. Maybe he did drop down from somewhere. But it looked like he came from that side of you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sir? Oh, God! The heck are you guys? What? What? <laughs> Ian's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I just want to know where that guy is. I 
feel like you're gonna find him, because... Oh, no. Oh, there he is. Aha. Uh -huh. he, he's perched on the balcony. This guy's just waiting for you to go. This rot zombie. <laughs> I mean, the zombies aren't that bad as long as they don't grab you. Oh. posting Mother's Day stuff on Facebook and she made this big glazed lemon cake and now I really want cake. Ooh, that sounds good. I I think I might die if I don't get chicken nuggets tonight now. Oh my god. Hello? My god! Uh, I'll, I, I mean, you can go get chicken nuggets. I'm gonna eat the rest of that sushi. You don't like cake? cake Have we is... talked about this before? And, I mean, I've I don't think I've ever had a cake where I was like, I have to eat more of this. I mean, I'm definitely more of a... I just bought groceries. I just bought groceries today, exactly. So, you can go get chicken nuggets if you want, but I did grocery shopping today, so... Um... I feel like if... If I have to eat... Well, not have to, because I also do like cake. But cheesecake is the OP. And then... Nine times out of ten, I would probably choose to eat a pie over a cake. Oh, yeah. But sometimes, like, a chocolate layer cake, you know. Look at them just standing on the edge waiting to attack you. Sometimes it just hits the spot. You don't like pie either? Are you, like, not a sweets person, Jeff? Or, or do you just have a oh, very he made it. specific uh, preference? Yeah, sure, my gosh. Goodbye. Oh. You lived? Uh oh. This zo that zombie almost got you. Don't get the lava cakes. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> understand. What what is like a like a cookie is a better form of every sweet. <laughs> Cake, pie. Well, I mean, it just depends on what you're in the mood for. For me, at least. It's, like, sometimes I want a cookie, but sometimes I I want to eat. It's like, just a like, cookie. like when people are like, it's so moist. I'm like, yeah? <laughs> What's that mean? I don't get it. I just you don't, don't really understand. care for sweets, so you'll get chocolate ice cream. Chocolate or oh, ice cream. Oh, cookie, let's go. Yeah. Brownie. Co ice cream, I mean, ice cream is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But I think so the less frosting on the cake, the better. I mean, we did add insomnia did cookie. Go? Oh, well, he's down there. How'd you get down there? Well, at least he's not chasing you anymore. Like, I, I think I need to go to like a wedding that has like a fancy wedding cake and try a real wedding cake. Mm. But they always get some weird like coconut cream or stuff like that. Nothing better than soft serve. Oh, baby. Oh, oh shit. That's amazing. That's an amazing talisman. Plus two. Vastly boosts. Real re I agree. So I'm in the minority. Real real red velvet. That 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 phrase very, very difficult pulls out my list out of me. Mm. Um I is like I don't like it. Fake red velvet, I like it. Interesting. I like the uh, the architecture of this place. It reminds me of like Rivendell. Yeah. From Lord of the Rings. So real red velvet um, is made with beets, right? Is that true? Yeah. I don't. I don't actually. Yeah, know. it's a southern thing. I just know that there is a. I know that there are different ingredients that you can use to make. I'm pretty velvet. sure it's usually beets. What? I don't know. I don't like beets. Oh, oh god! Oh, god. <clears throat> what the heck? Red velvet purist, exactly. No! Uh, the hell? What the heck? I'm eating vegetables. They tricked me into eating vegetables. But were you eating a real one? Like, if you get it in a store that's not, like, a fancy bakery, they're usually not real. 
Wait, they just use like red they dye use, or like, something? Yeah, like flavoring and stuff. Like food coloring? He's going in for the hug. No! Don't let him get. Don't let him hug you. They were all just standing up here chilling. Jesus Christ. There you go. I gotta figure this out. What? Oh, red velvet yeah. stuff. Hey Google, is red velvet made with beets? Exactly. Now you can say, "Yeah, I ate my vegetables." Beet juice, yeah. Well, I mean, I probably feel like I've eaten fake red velvet cakes most of my life. Then I don't like. Beats. This is what happens when you work in a place that sells baked goods for a long time. That's, you just that's, learn nonsense. You know what? That's one of the vegetables that I've never really liked. Because I feel like a it beet tastes like dirt. always... Yeah, exactly. It always kind of tastes like dirt. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, where am I supposed to go? Where am I? Um, that's a good question. Okay, it looks like you can drop down there. But to what end? I think that just takes you to where you were before. But there might be like a door underneath you or something. Where I was before? Yeah, if you look this way, that's where you were. That's where you came from, I think. But there might be a door there because I can see like light coming through. Like a little. I saw an ant. A little group down here. Oh! He was waiting! Alright. Uh. Oh, I saw that thing hanging hey, from the yeah, roof, and I thought there was a. Okay. He's, he's tough. The fight! <laughs> oh, he's, he's like a boss level one. Nice. That sword does too much damage. It's sick, right? I know, that's this sword is crazy good. Food has been devoured. Food has been devoured. Time to focus on drawing. All right. Oh, yeah. Have fun drawing, Harmony. I'm excited to read the chapter tomorrow. I, I'm also excited to read the chapter tomorrow, so... Uh, yes. Happy drawing. Yeah, is there anybody hidden down there? There's one straight ahead. Yeah, yeah. There is. There's one down there. But you can... It looks like you could drop down if you wanted to go in. Like, do you see over here? You gotta go outside. Yeah, go outside. Oh, there's another mushroom guy. And then you can, like, drop down there, I think. Yeah, I would I'm jump. I'm just trying to see to where sure. he is. He's inside. I'm running low on everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here he comes. He senses my presence. He's just staring at the wall. He knows you're there. Or does he? He turned around. He's walking away. Or you could go fight the ants. <laughs> that guy didn't even notice. A big bottle of raid. Yeah, seriously. Fuck! Damn, he got you. Got stuck on the stairs. Yeah. For real, we do need that. 
Are the bugs, are the ants weak to rot? Could we just use that like raid? I feel like they like <laughs> yeah. live in the rot, so they probably like it. I feel like I'm a little under leveled for this area. Uh, I think this is like the highest level area, yeah. right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I feel think like so. the hailing tree is like the. I'm just wondering, like, this is a good place to grind, but I'm wondering where I could go, you know? I don't want to beat the game, obviously. We beat Ricard. I mean, you could go to the the Shunning Grounds. Oh, you're right. You haven't you haven't fought Moog yet. No. Um, and I don't know. I know one way to get to him. The second highest level area. Okay. Um, I know to, one way to get to him, and it's through Vari's quest line. But I don't know the other way to get to him. I know there's a way to get to him without doing Vari's quest line. Um. It might involve going through a portal somewhere? A portal in... Bob. The royal capital, maybe? I would look it up. Can I see your phone? I'll, I could look it up for you. I just initiated death. I have initiated... I like how you hit that one guy through the wall and he still didn't come out. Your mom! <laughs> it's in the consecrated snow fields. Okay. You love the your mom jokes. It's just perfect. I just love that TikTok. That's like, nice answer. Have you considered your mom? And it's just the word is in their hand. Your mom. hard too and they just never stop the wind up but the bleed trigger yeah is, is good for sure here's your runes literally that's like all I want to do is get my runes and leave Did he see you through the window this time? Where is he? Oh, he's there right he there. Is. It looks like he's looking at you. Yeah, look at the little face. <laughs> it's Gizmo looking out the window. Ready? Oh, goodbye. Oh, he lived with a tiny sliver of health. I uh, saw this video today of some guy, the first, not the first time, but he was like fighting Margit. Yeah. And um, he was like, my first time playing a Souls game and this is how I beat Margit. And he, the video starts and Margit has like, like a tiny little amount of health left, but the guy also has such a small amount of health that you can't even see, um, like his health bar because mm. it's so tiny. And he, it's like a, a full minute video of him just dodging Margit, and then he gets like far away from him and just throws a dagger at him, and then that's how he, he wins. wins the fight. I'm just wondering if I happen to be near a side of Grace. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell because there's all these like white lights, yeah. so I, I can't tell just from... Uh, hello? I think there was a flower down there. All right. You know, sometimes you just gotta do whatever you gotta well, do. Well, the reason I'm not doing that is because. Go down, or zoom in. It's that one, I think. I saw it. Yeah, the underground roadside. It's because I have enough to level up. So, Jeff, I've been leveling up endurance so I can take off my token right now that gives. or trinket that gives me heavy. more equipment load. So then I can double up on these two. Mmm, that would be interesting, yeah. yeah. Um, but right now, I'm at... Like, just take it off and see. You're still on medium load if you take it off. Or, no, wait, I'm sorry, go, go, go to a different talisman. You're still on medium load if you take it off. Oh, right maybe now, I hit the so. thing. 
Vastly that... negates physical damage. Oh, okay. do I have so a physical you, damage one? So if you get one? that one and, and then one? this one. What one is that? Yeah, do you know what it's called? Is it like in one of these ones or? I don't think you have it. I'm just trying to see what else I should put on for now. Yeah. Fatality. Oh, that charm is what puts the thing on you. No, oh, I'm I'm over just on that. Of it. It's in the halo. <laughs> oh, awesome. No, see, I have a heavy load no matter what. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought that it was. Maybe it just didn't update. So, yeah, you gotta. Update. I don't know how many more levels I need to get out of. Cheesecake does negate hunger vastly. You're right. <laughs> hey, You're Stone. definitely right, Owl. Owl. Yeah. Well, how's it going? Been a while. Happy, uh, happy Sunday. Or Mother's Day. I guess. <laughs> I, for Mother's Day, I sent my mother a nice little package. Um, <laughs> it sounds like you sent her like a bomb. What? No! <laughs> I said it's like a little candle and candle holder. Thank you. I am the proud mother of two cats. Um, and uh, yeah, I sent my mom like a little thing candle with some chocolates and a little card. I sent my grandma's oh, stuff. Oh, I did it. That level got me over. Nice. Your mind always has to go there. You gonna try and fight these, uh, ogres? I mean, you're doing, like, a good amount of damage to them. It just, they're just, like, oh, look at the bleed on them. I, yeah, I'm sorry, the omen, yeah. Not the ogres. They are hey. the, the omen How's it cursed. going? Hello. I am Ian. I am Ian. What? Yes, what? Um, You're sending us chicken nuggets. You got chicken nuggets on the brain. Looking at your stats, I will tell you if you have mid-roll. Ooh, Owl can just do that. No, he will tell us. It will we'll tell, tell you. Us. But the thing is, is I was trying to level up with... I was trying to figure out how many levels it would take me to use this charm I had on. I had the one that raises your, uh, what's it called? Uh... It's not carrying capacity. Load. But, and I had fat roll when I took it off, so I was trying to level up the C. Hamburger load. load, that's How right. much more I need to rip that. Oh, no. Audio, no. Yep. You guys are zero. I hit zero. What? I hit zero! No, not you. Oh. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> we got it working. <sighs> yeah, this area is really fun. I mean, it wasn't too bad for me until I got the audio glitch just now. This is, I mean, the ogres are only, like, on this level of it. Like, when you're going through other areas, you don't have to fight these ones, but there are still kind of, like, annoying enemies. Throughout here. But yeah, so these guys are omen, which Jeff was right. That uh, more lore stuff, right? So omen oh. is like, uh, well, that's where you needed to go anyway. So I am, I still, I split it because I got the sword of night and flame, and I wanted to be able to use it. In order to do that, I need to have twenty-four faith and twenty-four int. So I switched my build to be dual faith and int, which. The weapon is really cool that I can use for it, but I can definitely tell that, like, 
Uh, I have not tried the Blasphemous Blade. I haven't tried Oh, you were it. in the crate? How'd you get in there? Surprise attack! Um... But yeah, so I really like the sword, but I feel like I can tell that, like, maybe my magic and stuff isn't hitting as hard as it could. Oh, I haven't fought Ricard yet, so yeah. I just killed him earlier. Oh, god. So I don't have the- I don't have it yet, but yeah. Omen are kind of really odd. The couple bosses that Omen look really human, which has me all sorts of cues, like a curse and out of race, but the in-game text talks about them as a race. Yeah. Yeah, the omen is definitely a curse, for sure. And, like, the two bosses that are omen is obviously Morgoth and, um, Moog is the other one, I think. Um, it's a curse, and the shunning grounds are where they were kept, like, most of their lives. Yeah. Even though they were technically, like, royalty, like demigods, they were kept trapped down here because of being born as Omen, and they didn't want people to know, you know. Yeah, so there's a few of these flowers here. But the, I think the the big Omen that you're fighting down here are like normal people that were born with the curse. The Omen curse, and... Uh, oh god, I didn't know they could do that. He slam you. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember them looking human after defeat. Do you mean, like, like, which one? Oh, like, Morgoth? Like, his weird little corpse thing? Right? Maybe, like, once he's dying, like, the curse- Is it, like, a blight, you know? Yeah, maybe it's, like, a life curse or something? Like, it's attached to their soul, and then once they die, it's like, bye bye I don't know. Oh, okay. Are you playing the- are you playing this too, Owl? I'm assuming, or have you just been watching people play it? I've been waiting for some- yeah, I know, that's how I am with some of the lore, too. I'm like, yep, I'm just waiting for, uh, for someone to tell me about this lore, for sure. I gotta get back into it. I haven't played it for a few days, but I really want to- For 400 hours and it moved on. Damn! I'm making up all the lore on my own, exactly. It's- it's my own headcanon. I don't need no source. It's like, uh, Source, and Jeff is like, um, me? <laughs> I'm the Source. <laughs> the only Source you need? Obviously. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't really do the PvP stuff. Like, I'll do, like, the helping people fight the bosses stuff sometimes. Exactly, my Source is that I made it up. It's for my imagination. Basically. Alright, nice job. That sucked, it took all of my mana. So, okay, get ready for hands. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And I mean, we're still so early in this game coming out that we're not like. I feel like I have seen that meme. I don't know if I've seen the original, like, source. Like, where did it originally come from? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Meme? Uh, I don't think I've seen that. Oh! It gotcha. Oh, okay. You posted it, but my phone is over there charging, and I don't want to reach across Ian as he's doing this very uh, annoying fight, so... I shall check it out. burst in the flames and you die. And they're weak to fire, so your blood art has fire attached to it. Oh. So. Get it, hands. She even hit it right exactly. I hinted. I was like, I'm just gonna run out here because I hate the hands and otherwise I'm gonna be scared. Yeah, they're they're weak to fire. Oh, did you not talk to the dung eater? I thought I did. You have to get the key from the dung eater. Oh, so I just did this for nothing. He's in that room, so... Um, can I see my phone? Oh, but I also see that it closed the chat, so I probably won't be able to look at the thing that... Your phone? I mean, you- I would, un like, later uninstall... Um, yeah, I can't get the link because it 
Yeah, otherwise the hands are just a nightmare. Literal nightmare fuel. Oh yeah, definitely. Because they like roll around and then... I would uh, uninstall the Twitch app on your phone and reinstall it. Because it's, it's so weird what it's doing. Yeah. Dog eater. Maybe I didn't talk to him enough times. Yeah, I usually have to talk multiple times to people you to get the full. Smell hardly much. Was a brief Red main flame ash was my best friend during my first playthrough. Yeah, you, and you get that in um in Khaled. I think it's like before you go into Red Main Castle, isn't it? That you get it. All right, back to the shunning grounds. It's the one underneath that one, yeah. The underground. <laughs> DJ Khaled! <laughs> That's what we thought of, too. We made a joke that uh, when we started playing this, that every time we would go to Khaled, we'd be like, DJ Khaled! Ah, okay, it's one of the invisible scarabs, yeah. So yeah, you could just run past these guys and drop down, or you could fight Are them, they not gonna mean. follow me? No, they won't follow you. We'd be down in that tiny space with three of these dudes. <laughs> And then you could honestly run past the rats too, but then you'd have to get deal with the poison flowers. So yeah, it's with the rats there. Ow! I. What? No, nothing. Yeah, you could just run past it all to the ladder. I think that the hands respawn though. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind putting the hands again, it's honestly the flowers. Yeah, because the flowers just take so much, like, mana. Skirt! Right? Skirt! Or FP, yeah. as it's called in this game. Don't you dare hit me with your laser attack while I'm on this ladder. The f oh, right, the fancy points. <laughs> Oh yeah, that hand is definitely there. I wonder if you don't step on it, though, if it doesn't come up. You see it right there? Yeah. Like, the little ones might come down still, but... There he is. I think the hands are behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... What do I do? Okay, so do you want spoilers about the dung eater? I mean, I I know most about him. I just want to, I just kill him. If you let him out, he's just gonna, gonna kill destroy people. the world. Yeah. No, he's gonna kill people. He's just gonna fuck up people and literally like defile their corpses and shit. I mean, it's up to you. You can let him go. The, he only fucks up the world if you choose his ending by doing his full quest. But he's also just like a horrible person. Yeah, exactly. Rip the souls out of their ass and eat them. I I just killed him. Or well, I did talk and then I said, "Hi, boy, the dung eater." <laughs> but if you talk to him and you don't say anything, he'll say more Holy stuff hell. if you want to hear him. Okay. Uh, oh, I am the dung. <laughs> Who are you? Say nothing. I'm the dung eater. <laughs> He's just misunderstood. <laughs> I saw somebody say. Let me out. I saw somebody. Can you really, or is that a, a joke? I can't. I can never tell through text. But um, somebody. I saw somebody say that the dung eater was like the best, most honest character in this game. Oh, you can make a puppet of ash. Oh, oh. Ash, okay. The fuck. Um, he's like the most honest character in the game because he literally just tells you straight up like he's a horrible person that's going to like kill and defile people. And like everybody else seems to have like these secret motives, but he's just like, no, I'm just gonna like fucking murder people indiscriminately and like defile. He almost got them. me. He did almost get you. I was too, I was worried he was gonna knock me into the hands range. Nice save, yeah. right? There you go, you got all his gear and stuff. No, I'm trapped in here. Now you're trapped in there because the hands are blocking your exit. Well, at least they can't do anything to you. I, what the, 
I don't think you do that. Yes. Now Ian can be the dung eater. Yeah, I'm the dung eater now. Look at me. I'm the dung eater now. Ah, oh, I think his his does bleed too. I think his weapon is a bleed weapon. Yeah. So and it might also be a strength weapon. I don't know. I know I'm not using any of his stuff because I'm like, you're just icky. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm just gonna. I'll fuck you. with you. Mmm. A debuff skill. Yeah, the armor is it's so gross looking. But yeah, um, so spoiler for the Dung Eater end of the quest line, if you like give him enough curses to fulfill his quest line, you can pick his ending, and his ending is he gives everybody in the Lands Between the Omen curse. Oh, okay. So everybody becomes an omen um, in his world, which is apparently for him like the ideal world. And I'm just like, dude, you're just like- Like, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, man? Okay. So, I think this is where I'm going to end today. Okay, yeah. Um, we got a lot done. We did, you did a lot today, that's, but that's true. But, starting next week, we still got this to do. Um, and then we've got Moog, right? Moog is underground. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'd have to look up how to get to but him. But, I mean, like, I'm just trying to think of demigods or whatever, or... Yeah, so you have Moog left. You could do get the the death rune by doing Fia's quest if you wanted to like find Godfrey and all that. Yeah. Um and then Melania. And I think that's the last of the the big bosses. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to remember because you did Renala, Radon, Ricard. Ricard. Um uh Morgoth. So we'll start probably doing Fia next week. Yeah, you can. That, do that. seems like one that's like at the right level for me. Yeah, I'll have to look um, and see if the Fia quest line. I hope that by like burning the tree, we didn't like fuck it up. Walk yeah. out the Fia quest line. I don't know. Um, do Fia's quest. Yeah. Cause uh, I'm pretty close to being ready. Besides. Melania, whatever the heck her name is. Melania, which is going to be a nightmare. Everything else is going pretty well. 